Okay guys, this is just going to be a quick video today to show you how to revert your Samsung Galaxy S2 back to stock from any ROM including Cyanogen mod. So if we go to settings here, scroll down to about phone, and we, can, we can see that we're currently running Cyanogen mod ROM rather than a stock Samsung ROM. We can also see, if we go back, that we've got root super user access on this phone. So for example if you wanted to take your phone back to the shop or send it back for repair you would have to revert everything to how it was when you first got it and that's going to include removing root. So it's really simple you just need to boot your phone into download mode and then use Odin to flash across an original Samsung wrong. So the easiest way to reboot into download mode is actually through Cyanogen mod itself you can do the normal way, which is to power off your phone and hold down the home key, the power key and the volume down key. But I think the easiest way is to use the actual power reboot menu in Cyanogen Mod. So to activate that, if you haven't got it, you first of all need to get developer options. And to do that, you simply scroll down to build number and tap it eight times. I'm now a developer. And here is developer options and that allows me to turn on the advanced reboot option. So now when I hold down the power button and press reboot, I get to reboot into download mode. So load up Odin on your computer first and then reboot your phone into download mode and you're ready to flash your Samsung wrong. Here we go. Nice and quick and you should find, before you know it, we're in download mode already. We don't even need to press the volume up key to confirm that. So now I'm going to go over to my computer, plug in the phone and start flashing. So here we are, we've just turned our phone into download mode and now we need to set up Odin before we plug it into the computer and start flashing the ROM. So make sure you download the ROM previously, I'll put the link to the zip file in the description below so you can download that and unzip it and then all we need to do is just check a few settings. So we need to make sure that only auto reboot and F reset time are ticked here and that there's nothing selected on the repartition section. Then just hit the PDA button and double click the ROM file. You'll notice that it's an MD5 file. What that means is, it, is it's automatically checksummed and then when I double click it, Odin's going to check the checksum which ensures that there's been no no mistakes or no errors when you've downloaded it. It ensures that it's exactly the correct file and you're not going to flash a ROM with problems onto your phone. So it's checked the MD5, so it checks some correctly. And now all I need to do is plug in the phone. Odin says it's added and we can see it's connected on COM port 18. And then all we need to do is click start and let the flash go ahead. So that's it, the whole process should only take about four, maybe five minutes. And when it's done, your phone will automatically disconnect and reboot. And while the whole process is happening, you'll see a status bar on the phone as well as an Odin. After your phone reboots, you should find that stock Samsung is working again. So after you unplug your phone from Odin, it will start to reboot automatically. But you want to rip out the battery quickly because it won't work until you've reset the factory settings and wiped all the data. So hold down the home key, the power key and the volume up key and hold them down strong and we're going to enter the stock recovery. So it's just like the clockwork mod recovery that we installed when installing Cyanogen mod but this is the stock recovery that comes automatically on the phone. So you, you navigate in exactly the same way. I'm just going to scroll down to the setting called wipe data slash factory reset. Hit the, the power button to enter and then confirm with yes. It will very quickly format your data and restore the phone to factory settings. 
And then you can simply hit the first option, which is Reboot System Now, and your phone will start up again, and it won't get stuck in the boot loop. So this first boot is going to take quite a long time, because the phone is completely fresh, exactly how you would have got it from the shop. But just be patient, and it will slowly but surely make it into the Samsung stock ROM, which you have now restored. And there you have it. So we're going to have to set up everything again because it has been restored to factory settings. But if I just skip ahead, ignore all of these. and you'll find the phone boots up and then if we just simply go to settings and scroll down to the bottom to about device we can see that we're no longer running cyanogen mod we're back to the Samsung stock ROM and everything's like it was when you got it from the shop with just the default apps installed there you go Please hit the like button if this helped you restore your Samsung Galaxy S2 back to the stock Samsung ROM. Cheers for watching.